Machine learning relies heavily on statistics to such an extent that it has been exaggerated that machine learning is really nothing more than statistics simply repackaged or reframed to make it look more appealing to consumers. And this has resulted in people saying things like, when you're fundraising, it's AI. When you're hiring, it's ML. But when you're implementing, it's simply logistic regression. But the truth is machine learning is not simply statistics. It's more than that. However, it does rely heavily on statistics. And so let's take a few minutes to examine some of the commonly used terminology, look at what it means in simple terms, and then also look at its equivalent in statistics. And these are terms we'll use throughout the course, so it is useful to learn them. So let's explore some of the fundamental machine learning terminology. Firstly, there is the label or target. And a label is the thing that we are trying to predict. It is the y variable or the y axis in a simple linear regression. And the label could be the future price of wheat or the kind of animals shown in a picture or the meaning of an audio clip or, well, just about anything you can imagine. And in statistics, this is referred to as the dependent variable. Next, we have features. And a feature is an input variable. And it is the data that we use to help us make the prediction. It is the x variable in simple linear regression. And for a simple machine learning project, we might have a single feature, while for a more sophisticated project, we could use millions of features. And if we were to build a spam detection machine learning model, the features could include things like words in the email text or the sender's email address or the time of day that the email was sent. And in statistics, we refer to the feature as the independent variable. Next, we have feature engineering. And feature engineering refers to all the efforts that reshape the data to make it more useful to us. And in statistics, this is called data transformation. And then finally, we have feature selection. And feature selection is an exercise of determining what is the most valuable data in your data set. So here we are trying to figure out all the variables that matter and that have the greatest influence on the thing that we're trying to predict, which is our label or target. So what is the relationship between a label and a feature? Well, that is essentially what machine learning is all about. Machine learning is developing a model that defines the relationships that exist between features and labels. So in the spam detection model that we mentioned, we would look for all those features that would strongly indicate that an email is spam. Okay, so those are the terminologies to keep in mind as you go through this course. Our next lesson will be a practical one where you get to apply your newly learned machine learning lingo in a more real world scenario. See you soon. Mm -hmm.